everybody. Well, my husband's off for a quick walk and I thought this is a perfect opportunity to show what I got today. I went um, <clears throat> shopping with my daughter this afternoon. So we visited a bunch of craft stores. So I got a bunch of stuff. Went to Hobby Lobby. I haven't been there in a while. And I got some stuff for my Christmas um, journal that I'm gonna, I'm making one for myself and one to sell. And it's a mix of nature and kind of vintage, I guess. So these papers were so perfect. These are from Hobby Lobby. I just love, you know, it's just so vintagey looking to me. I love the type set on this, the font. It's gorgeous. And these Christmas stickers. So these also go with that. I got some orange bias tape, or what do they call it? They call it bias tape. I call it seam binding, but that it's the same thing. But I didn't have orange, so I got orange. And I got some of these Tim Holtz hangers, the loop pins, because I was um, getting low, so I wanted to pick those up. And look at this amazing, this was on sale. This amazing acorn, or acorn, pine cone. Oh my gosh, I love this. And I've got a, a traveler's notebook coming from our atelier, and I am thinking that um, this is gonna be perfect charm um, to go with that one, because it's a beautiful orangey persimmon color. Then I got some Christmas ones for, <clears throat> the Christmas journals. So I have snowflakes and I have trees and presents. I didn't really have any Christmas um, charms. In fact, I didn't realize I could get so many charms at Hobby Lobby that I'm going to quit looking online. I got this beautiful charm. This is for the commission I'm doing for Connie. So I'm going to leave this blank. She can put something in there, but it's just like, uh, I know that that's a photo album, but to me it's like a little book. So it goes with the literature theme. Um, and then I got some more charms. Like these are birds and butterflies and feathers. Um, so I'm super excited about these. Birds, butterflies, and feathers feathers. I don't see any other. There's a star. There's different things in here. There's a dragonfly. So I know there's a bunch of really cute um, things in here that go well with my nature journals. So that's why I wanted that. Um, and this one too. This is the same, but this, um, I, I actually got, uh, this is a, more of a darker tones. Um, well, it feels like it's darker tones. Yeah, I think it is just a little bit darker tones. Same thing, exactly, but I think they seem to be a little darker. So I thought that was fantastic. 60 pieces each. And then I got these charms that are um, alphabet. So I'm going to use this C. For Connie's um, and I love these I really like these because I love the um, font that they use like it's very decorative and very pretty and um, it's one you know all the letters of the alphabet so I think this will be super fun to use and I used a 40% off on this because this was $10 <clears throat> then um, went to Tuesday morning, which I haven't been to in ages. And I got these um, envelopes. There's eight of these. Envelopes with the little string tie thing. I got these 24 little white treat bags, which I thought were a really cute size. I got this for Christmas for the journal that I'm decorating these pretty um, decorative brads actually so that's really perfect that they're brads 
Um, I got this Tim Holtz. There were a few of the Stampers Anonymous from Tim Holtz, and this was a sewing one, and it's so pretty. I just loved it, so I had to get that. And look at, I'm so happy. It's a, a 9x5 acrylic block, and I needed a big acrylic block, so this is wonderful. I'm so happy to find this. Excellent. I really needed it. Okay, and then I went to the thrift store, and I got two packages of cheesecloth. So I'm probably going to um, tea dye these. Four square yards, two square yards, so I have six square yards of cheesecloth. And I also got these two things. This is just a post-it note thing. I think I'll take that to work. But I got these two, and these are Rolodex cards. And they are so cool. There's two sizes, so I can use them as, like, tuck-ins. And they have on top, it's just this little rounded thing on each one. So I, I love it. I saw, like, on Facebook. Facebook on YouTube somebody was showing how they had decorated and made things from these Rolodex cards so um, and I can't remember if it was Gail I think it was Gail Agnes Deceli I, I can't say her name um, but t I was so excited when I found two different sizes like that I mean wow I was amazed and then I found these beautiful pink ribbons uh, blanket binding and I think this one's pretty I think these are pretty old look at these these really look these look vintagey to me even this one looks a little bit vintagey and um, yeah they're old they have to be old look at these aren't they beautiful and so I thought well they'll be really pretty for the journal I'm making the commission one number one and um, oh they're so pretty they just have to be look at that look at the detail they have to be vintage and there's a little bit of mint green ribbon so I think this is going to be pretty to use um, some of this in her journal and um, so Connie I hope you like that and that wasn't the only one. There was this one as well. So same person, I'm sure. They just made two packages of it. But um, just look at this. See, 10 cents. Now you know that is old. 10 cents. <laughs> and look at this one. I mean, you can just look at it and you can tell that these are old. They are so pretty. I just, I can't wait to use these. Um, I think they're just going to be beautiful. And then I was looking for some cards to use for her as well. And I was looking for pastel theme. That was kind of my, what I was searching for. So I did find these. And I think these are going to be good because I have, like, there's a card in here. But mostly I want, it's the envelope I liked. There are cards in all of these. But I wanted um, the envelope. I guess there's, like, butterflies and stuff. I'm not really, like, the cards. The cards don't interest me so much as the envelopes because they're pastel. Some of them are prettier. Like, that's a really pretty card. And that one's fairly pretty. But then there's some others that I don't think are all that great. That's the same one. Um, that's a different type of envelope. See, these watercolor note cards, they're really pretty. I think those are beautiful. So that's okay. But um, some of the others, I'm not like, I don't think they're all that fantastic. But that's just me. <laughs> it's funny. These are all like, huh. 
interesting that these cards are like this way. I'm just kind of curious. That one's pretty. These watercolor ones are lovely. Oh my gosh, look at the glitter on this. Holy cow. Wow. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. And here's another glittery one. Oh, with a bird on here. It's kind of um, raised. So that's really pretty. This is from Benedictine, the Benedictine monks. That's where that com those are coming from. So those are really actually quite beautiful. So there's some really pretty ones in here. I mean, look at this on look at the envelope. Can you just is it not gorgeous? The envelopes for these are beautiful. They will be so pretty. Like I could use some of the parts of these as journaling cards, put them into the envelopes. You know. This is kind of a men's one, so that's a little different. This looks cute. <laughs> Pretty interesting, actually, you know, when you start opening these things. I can't believe that all these are like, have stuff in them. Like, there's a ton of these beautiful, beautiful watercolors. Um, they're so pretty. I like those a lot. A pink one, and there's a couple of butterflies, a yellow. We have, this person must have really liked the butterflies. Look at them all, all the monarchs. Oh, that's cute. I like that one cuter than some of the others. Kind of, some of them are kind of strange. Yeah. Let's see. This is, oh, that's so cute with the baby blue jays. I know you like blue jays, Connie. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Kind of curious. Now that's like an illustration. Pissarro, Camille Pissarro. Oh, different. Renoir. Different ones on those. So, we're just going to keep taking them out. There's just all kinds of stuff. <laughs> that one's the same. And then these are white envelopes. So these are kind of pretty. Look at that pasture land. So some of these I can use for the commission one. I just have to kind of um, go through and decide what is going to look nice. Oh my goodness. Talk about a lot of cards. Pretty amazing. There's a cute card, cute envelope. <laughs> These envelopes have little things on them and then it's like that. Well, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm not gonna use them all, but some of them, look at that. That's super cute. That has an iris and this is an iris. So this could totally be for um, Heidi's journal. So I could see that. That's a cool envelope pattern. Okay. And some I don't, you know, some don't really interest me at all. Oh gosh. Look at that puppy and kitty. I could use that for Heidi's as well. Yeah, oh, I like that one. So yeah, there's actually, look at that. There's quite a bit, and they're very, some of them are very pretty. So I'm gonna start using some of those as well um, for the envelopes. 
Let me see if I can straighten up my, got kind of a mess here with my envelopes. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with, in general, I feel like um, these were good choices. So yeah, I think that's all. I just, you know, I have to put this stuff away and I want to go through those cards and see like in my journal projects where I can use them. And then of course I need to put this lovely stuff away. I love it when I can come across old, old ones because I feel like they're so beautiful. Like, look at this. Isn't that trim amazing? Somebody's hot grandma <laughs> had this stuff. Look at that. Oh, it is so pretty. And we got this. Let's save these tags. You know I like to use the tags. And this. This is beautiful too. Looks like there's two of those. There's a ton of this one. This is gorgeous. Oh, there's some beautiful trim. I can't wait to use it. It's going to be so lovely. So lovely. So that's trim. And then there's the edging or binding for the blankets. Um, here's some more. And just it must have been for like little baby blankets, some of this. It's so fine. It's so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Just beautiful. Oh, love it. Look at this. There's some really gorgeous older things in here. I need to just peel this plastic off. Look at this. Oh man, I feel like I struck gold, you guys. I struck gold. Just finding this stuff, love it. Love it when I can get finds like these, you know? Stuff that you just don't usually run across. Look at that, it's so pretty. So I can find homes for that. Oh, here's something else. This one's really old too. And I just used up my only old vintage pink I had. So I'm super happy to have found these beautiful vintage colors. Look at this. Amazing. This one's, uh, this is seam binding. Where did I put my other seam binding? I gotta put my seam binding away. So we'll put that away. And this too, this is blanket binding. And I think this is a really thick one. Yeah, look at how thick this is. Super thick and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Keep this for my <laughs> journal. It'll be cute in my journal, won't it? Let's see what else we got, because we have some more thick ones. That one, and that, and that one. These are the seam bindings. Here's a piece of this one. Here's a piece of this. These are just beautiful, like very satiny and pretty and gorgeous. Um, here's some of this one. This is the first time I found anything like this. And this one, a little bit of floss. I need to, I have some more floss I need to put away. I had another, oh, I put that other piece away, so some floss. And here's some more tiny pieces and some ribbon, a little bit of ribbon and a smaller piece of this. So that'll just go in something else as well. So I feel like I um, did pretty good. Might as well unwrap this. I'm just going to, like I said, take that to work. 
I always need that sort of thing at work. So I have these. It'll be fun to, you know, I'll probably tea dye some of them, but I'm not going to tea dye them all because um, they'll be fun to do like distress stains in different colors around the edges. So those are really cool. Um, yeah, so I got a bunch of stuff to put away. And of course the cheesecloth, which was, I thought, a great find. And actually my daughter found the cheesecloth. So that was fantastic of her. But yeah, I think that's all. I feel like um, that was a really good haul today. And I was able to get stocked up on, you know, some journaling supplies and kind of get that going again. So now I just got to... I've been busy picking out pages for the different projects, so I've got a few more bundles of pages to go through, and of course the cards, and then I will be ready to start working on the journals because I will have all the pieces. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll catch you later. Bye.